Good afternoon, guys. Not sure if you can recognize where I'm at yet. How about now? Anyways, just made it up to our high country deer camp. We've got this tag opening up here in a couple weeks. I decided to uh, take a mid-afternoon hike. I think I hit the trail just after lunchtime. Uh, beneficial in the sense that not as many people, but a little bit on the warmer side. I think the high today in Salt Lake is going to be like 97. Feels a lot better up in the high country. The flies though, man, the flies are kind of bad this year. They're just all over the place. Not too many of the biting variety so far, but more just of the annoyance variety. They're just landing all over the place. But I'm going to go check a couple trail cameras that we've had out since last fall. I'm sure the batteries are dead, but I wanted to pull the cameras, put new batteries in them, and then probably put up one more camera in like a pinch point area that I've watched for the last couple years and that we've seen quite a few deer kind of funnel through. And uh, anyways, just have a little bit of intel. These cameras should be fresh for when we come back up in a few weeks and kick off the season. It's hard to believe that our very first hunt of the year is uh, literally weeks away. This fall is gonna be super fun, really busy. We cannot wait to capture as much content as we can for you guys. We've got a lot of cool hunts planned this year getting uh, everything from the high country velvet mule deer to going back to Oregon with the born and raised guys. Casey and I will be heading back to do Land of the Free 2.0. We're gonna be hunting with Kenton Carruth, who's the CEO, uh, one of the founders of First Light, born and raised crew. And then from there, we're gonna probably jump over either back up here on the mountain, maybe hit up Idaho before we head up to Montana to chase elk up there. We've got a couple rifle deer hunts, both in Idaho and Nevada and then also in Utah. We have uh, our very first whitetail tags that we've ever drawn, which we're gonna be heading to Kansas to go hunt with our friends from Stealth Cam. That should be a ton of fun. And then we're trying to make it work where we meet up with the guys over at The Hunting Public. If you've never heard of them, go check out their YouTube channel. They uh, are based out of Missouri. Be a little bit of a different style of hunt. We'd be doing uh, more of a public land hunt with those guys. And then heading back to Colorado and whatever else might come in between now, but a lot of tags between the three of us. And again, we're just uh, really looking forward to this year. We get excited every year. My dad used to say this when I was a kid, but he's like, you only get so many opening days in your lifetime. And so you gotta really cherish the moment, take advantage of it. It's uh, kind of crazy to think about. It gives me like goose chill, goosebumps, whatever, when I think about it. But uh, life is definitely short. And you never know what's gonna happen. And every single opening day is, is truly something special. So for all of us, all of you that have a tag and you're getting ready to kick off your season, take a minute, you know, and just take it all in. It's uh, so much fun to be out in the woods, particularly if you're with your friends or your family. But every now and again, it's fun to just kind of uh, sit back and look around and just be appreciative of where you're at and what you're able to do. This is our kitchen. That's where Eric cooks all the food on the pots and pans that he brings to camp, which is so ridiculous. But if you're going to pack it, you can go to town and cook all your food. That's our main fire. If it ever gets chilly, and this is kind of our little resting area right here. Apologize for the pasty thigh. It's an old deer bed that we cut out. There's another one above it. And then uh, behind us, some trees that uh, Eric likes to put the uh, canopy, or what are those things called? The hammocks on. Just made it to the first trail camera. Look at the size of that hole that has been dug in the hillside. Camera's right there. That's just from throwing down some critter lick and it's just absorbed into the uh, the ground. And man, the animals are just hammering it. They've dug out such a big amount of dirt. It's crazy that they'll just come eat the dirt. The batteries are definitely dead in here. Actually, it's off. Huh. I'm guessing Eric must have pulled the SD card out of there because it's empty. So I'm just gonna switch out the batteries, throw some new ones in, and then put in a new SD card. The amount of dirt that's dug up here, we ought to get something on camera before we come back to hunt. Just got to camera location number two. Super crazy, man. I thought someone stole the camera for a minute. I looked down the hill, and uh, there it is. Looks like it just broke off in the winter or something. Or maybe an animal hit it, I don't know. But the uh, SD card is still in there. That's a good sign. I'm gonna try to get this thing fixed. Check the SD card real quick. And then I've got two other locations. One location to try to go grab a camera, replace the batteries. And then a second location that I was thinking about putting a camera, but since this one's broken, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to yet. Gotta figure that out. All right, so I was able to get it fixed. I'm full of pitch though and sap. 
but I just have it tied up on there. So now I'm going to go set a camera. I brought one of the DS4K cams with the intent to put it on video mode. Go see if I can find a place to put this other trail camera. Okay, I found a spot for a new camera I wanted to put out. There she is, I got her camouflage pretty good, I think. But like I was saying earlier, that's the 4K camera. So I've got it on video mode, 20 second bursts, and then the audio is on. That's probably been the most impressive thing about the 4K cameras for stealth cam is the audio quality is unbelievable. So I put this on a transitional zone. There's no critter lick down, no water. This is just an area that I've seen deer cross around and get them kind of going in multiple directions through here. So really just kind of hoping to get lucky and catch a couple as they transition from one area to the next. I think I'm gonna try to go to that last camera, which is uh, predominantly where Eric likes to hunt sometimes, and put a new SD card and new batteries in there. Then we'll be good. We will be absolutely good, ready to go for the season. And when we come back up in a few weeks, cross your fingers, we'll have some beautiful velvet bucks. Get this thing set in the on position. I'll go down there. This is custom right there. And it's ready to go. All right, good luck. Capture all the all the deer. All right, made it to the final camera of the day. There she is. Card in there. The batteries are about toast. Pop that guy out. I am anxious to see what we find on these cameras and how long they last. The batteries look like they're good there. Considering we put those up last year in July, I mean, they're lasting a full year. We're up around 9,500 feet of elevation. A lot of snow, heavy winters. Pretty impressive how long the cameras will last, to be honest with you. Guys, what's up? Just got done filming a Whoa. podcast with... <laughs> Gritty Bowman. Just, well, I guess it's just Gritty Brian. Yeah. And the Gingers. The Gingers. Twin, twin Gingers. Land and Ty from BHA. You know what somebody told me today on the Let's Instagram story? When I talked about how I was going hiking with a bunch of gingers, they had a really funny comment. And I, got gingers so have feelings too? No, they said, <laughs> they said, you know what? If those guys get angry, it'll be a ginger snap. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> uh, I've not heard that one. That's All pretty... my ginger days. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, podcast studio coming along nicely. Yeah, just about done. It'll Could... be nice to have the table. Yeah. Because then... Then uh, I can like have notes out in front of me and jot down ideas and stuff. Computer, like live screen. Yeah, that's one on the wall so we can just oh, bring up like yeah. all the lies yeah. that Senator Mike Lee shares. <laughs> <laughs> so we just filmed a podcast that was all about public lands, specifically talking about some of the things in Utah that have happened recently. Had a, some awesome discussions with Ty and also Land from Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. You guys are a wealth of information and it was a super cool podcast. So. We'll make sure to put a link in our description box when it's available. Make sure you go check it out and go leave a five-star review. <laughs> yes, thank you. Welcome back to Deer Camp, guys. I was here, oh, I guess a week ago. Came back up this time to bring some uh, much-needed water and just pretty much get camp organized. Got a little fire pile there. Fire's all ready to roll. Got our uh, tent spots all kind of cleaned up. So we're gonna be back up here in a couple weeks for the opener, just making sure everything's tidy, we got everything we need, and also kind of just helps uh, lighten the pack load if you've got time to haul some stuff up a little early. Brought some water up here. It's a good way to get the old legs in shape. Trying to be in mid-season form for the beginning of the season sure makes a big difference versus if you maybe haven't had much time to get out and do any hiking or training makes for an awfully long opening weekend if your legs aren't under you kind of a double whammy but i don't know i probably won't come back up until uh the opener more than likely just going to let those trail cameras sit and marinate hopefully collect some photos of some nice deer and then we'll be up here and uh we'll check them the next time we're up for the actual hunt and the opener hope you guys are enjoying your day thank you so much for watching the vlogs appreciate all your support and I hope you guys are preparing, getting ready for your hunts that you have this coming fall. We will see you next time. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and we will see you next week.